wondering why we are going to be so brave on Thursday, and that's all for a great cause. We have Amy Nouveau joining us right now from the Special Olympics. Amy, what is the deal with Over the Edge? Over the Edge, this is the fifth year we've done this. It's a fundraiser where people raise $1,000, and they rappel 27 stories down to the, sun at the bottom of the Seneca Niagara Casino. Now, Amy, I was sort of brave enough and lucky enough to be sort able of. to... <laughs> sort of. I was very brave, right, and lucky. <laughs> to be able to do this back in 2012, tell me a little bit about what the process looks like like for people that are gearing up to go over the edge. This is if anybody is registered. Um, this is their first year doing it. Wear sh uh, shorts that are um, at the shortest above your knee. Sneakers, so we don't have any flip flops falling down on people. And short sleeve shirts just to protect your arms from the um, the burn from the ropes. And there's also a VIP tent that we have. When you raise the money, you automatically have access to the VIP tent. Uh, there's food in there. There's um, beverages provided by Labatt's. We have some water, some soda. If you want to come and watch your family and friends, you can. Have access to that tent. It's twenty dollars. Gives you all the food and drink all day. If you're under twenty-one, you can still get in. It's ten dollars a person. And we have a DJ. We have music. We have Red Bull that's going to be there. It's going to be a fantastic day. Seventy-seven and sunny, so everybody should come out and enjoy it. And I have to admit, it's not just the bucket list aspect of this challenge, but being able to see the views from twenty-seven stories up, right in Niagara Falls, they must be priceless, right, Matt? You know. Absolutely. And I have to say, for people that are gearing up to do it, the hardest part is really just leaning back and, and trusting the ropes, going over the edge. <laughs> but this is also a major fundraiser for the Special Olympics. It is, Can you yes. tell us a little bit more this about that? Raise, this event raises about $100,000 every year. Um, so this is, you know, we have almost 65,000 athletes in New York State alone. It costs about $500 per athlete per year per sport to sponsor them. So this event sponsors a lot of our athletes. And we have three of our own athletes going over this year. We have an athlete arena out there. So anybody that wants to come and meet our athletes, they'll sign their autographs for you because they're our stars and our heroes. And you can get a picture taken with them. They'll give you some beads. It's just a really, really great day. Fun and exciting all the way around. Whether you're on the top of the building or on the ground, you're, you'll walk away a different person. It really just sounds like a very inspiring day. It I know is. we have some footage of uh, some past year's events. How did this all get started? Whose idea was it to start this campaign? This was um, about five years ago that Special Olympics sent me to a conference and Over the Edge is a company out of Nova Scotia and this was um, this is something that they do for not-for-profits and I thought we need to bring this to Buffalo. <laughs> and we're looking at footage of me going the, over the edge right now. There are two spots you were telling us left for people that want to go over the edge. There's still time. There's a little bit of a minimum you do have to raise in you, order to go over the edge. You do have to raise a minimum of $1,000. Um, you can register at www.overtheedgeny.org. And like Matt said, we do only have two spots left. But you can always give to the special. You can Olympics always and get give. involved as a volunteer at any time. Yes, right? we, do, we do still need volunteers, especially for the afternoon. And you can come out. We have auction items, like I said, family fun area. The Destroyer Golf Park will be there. The Destroyer is going over. <laughs> um, and we also have a gentleman that's repelling in a wheelchair at noon. So wow. that's that's going to be very exciting to watch as well. And really, like you said, if you're not going over the edge yourself, it is quite the spectacle. It's it is. a very cool sight to see all these people repelling down the building. So really, if you just want to come out and watch, there's yes. a lot of opportunities All day, for that. 10 a.m., 7 p.m., it's free. Anybody can come up. You don't have to participate in anything if you just want to watch and come meet our athletes. They're amazing, amazing people. I can't wait to meet more of them. We'll be there on Thursday. You'll see the recap on Friday, and then everyone's invited to come out and be part of the main event on Friday. Right. Thank right. you Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Amy. We're